went to Phoenix for their last meeting with the Suns and came out with a win. A huge margin of victory for them when these two teams squared off last, and they got scoring from up and down their lineup. Yeah, the reserves, the guys coming off the bench, Greg, made their presence felt. And, of course, with their big lead, they were able to give the bench a lot of run. So the Lakers win the tip. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Ayton is out there with Warren. Then it's Bridges. Then it's Trevor Ariza. And it's Booker in at the point. Goes back up. McGee's shot is off. Well, he mistimed it just a skosh. Don't think the defense really had an impact. I think he just flat out missed it. Now here's Booker. Rebounded by McGee. And, you know, the defense knew how to play at that time. Liked how they made their presence felt without committing the foul. McGee with the block. Ingram kicks to LeBron. And he uses the glass on the way up. And the regular season officially begins. Most rookies around the league, Clark, will have their eyes wide open. I mean, wow, what an eye-opening experience to play with this speed, this talent. How nervous were you going back to that time in your life? How nervous were you on opening night? Very nervous. Really excited. But there were some butterflies that I had to work really hard at trying to get them to fly in formation because they were all <laughs> over the place, Kevin. But ultimately, once you get out there and you break that first sweat or you get that first hit or bucket, then it simply becomes basketball. But prior to that pregame meal, your nap before the game, the butterflies are doing their own thing. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the game here. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And what a summer it was for the Suns. Landed the top pick in the draft, taking Aiden, and brought in some talent through free agency as well. Booker signing that extension solidified a very productive summer for the Suns. Having two young players that complement each other so well is huge for an up-and-coming team like the Suns. Uh, fruitful possession, just doing what they can to extend the lead. Yeah, that's tremendous efficiency there. I mean, you like seeing them put together these types of plays. Now, here's Aiton. He's coming off a 19-point game against Orlando. And maybe that'll get them going. They need to find a rhythm. Yeah, you know, good to see them finally find the bottom of the net because I think they got to build off of that. And it's Ingram missing. For Phoenix, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Ariza against Kuzma. Ariza passes to Warren. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Remember, T.J. Warren, he averaged 25 a game his second season at NC State. You want to know his role in the NBA? It's quite simple. A professional score. The Suns shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. free throw missing and with Warren with kind of an old school approach Greg very active with his mid-range game and this guy can get buckets around that rim as he stretches his range I think he'll only get more and more dangerous and the second free throw good And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I did catch up with Coach Luke Walton. He said if they want to go up 2-0 in the season series tonight, they have to be just as sharp as they were the first meeting. He said we can't get sloppy and expect to win. We have to be careful with our shots and take care of the ball. 
We'll see if they can execute just as well the second time. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you. Sounds like shooting is what he's concerned with most early on. Yeah, they're looking for a controlled, patient offense today. And the key to that will be shot selection. And, you know, if that's where they're focused on effective shooting, they'd be really smart to get it inside as much as possible. Mind get those high-quality looks in the paint area. Free throw good, LeBron. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg, many speculated it might happen, but it was still a shock to many. It makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. Son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interests as well. And also what's interesting is that when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Outside Warren. To the paint. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Kept alive. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. Kuzma pulls it in. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. Agreed. I mean, when the defense is right there, you got to move the ball, make the extra pass. That's a case of a poor shot selection. Here's Ingram, and it's blocked. Bridges with it. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Kuzma. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. Ball with a wide open look. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. In the corner, it's Bridges. And the Suns miss again. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. James. McGee trying to break free. They retain possession, and they get it back. And here's Booker. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. LeBron passes the ball. Got a hand on it. Here's Bridges. Tries from 10. Second chance shot. McGee with the block. And he's able to get it back. Ayton dishes to Warren. For three, Booker rebounded by McGee. Los Angeles leading by seven. Let's it go with a three. Again, James missing. Out to the right wing. Okobo buries the long-range jumper. Where was the defense? Come on now. Where was it? No idea how they gave up that open a look. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Well, Greg, you knew that the Laker front office and Magic were going to do everything they could to bring in big-name free agents, and they succeeded. They got the biggest name of them all in LeBron. LeBron coming to L.A. completely shifts the mindset of this organization. The team was very busy the rest of the free agent period as well. Still made very aggressive plays as this is a team that is looking to win now. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Crawford kicks to Booker. Another three for Phoenix. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now, here's Ball. He had 10 points in the win against Dallas. And it was a huge night for him at the other end as well. How about the steals? And he was just a big headache the entire game. Okobo. 
And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Ah, Clark, a favorite topic of yours. Great rebounders, glass eaters, as you call them. Who's the best at creating those important second chance opportunities for his team? Well, a couple of guys stand out for me in that regard, Kevin. DeAndre Jordan is terrific. Ennis Cantor, probably, he might be the best offensive rebounder in the league, Ennis Cantor. I mean, he goes and gets it in his area, out of his area, through guys, over them. <laughs> uh, man, he's a terrific offensive rebounder. And I'd throw um, Anthony Davis in there, too. I think he does a great job on the defensive glass and gets his share of offensive boards as well. And the Lakers with some changes. Chandler comes in for JaVale McGee. And it's Josh Hart in for Brandon Ingram. And he makes both free throws. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, Greg, to help round out the supporting camps. Names came in rapid succession after LeBron committed. Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. Down low, here's Kuzma, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, when Kuzma plays with that kind of tenacity, he's going to make defenders foul him. He's a real force in this league, folks. For Los Angeles, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And one of the weaker areas for this group only shot about 71% from the line a season ago. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Kyle Kuzma is a guy who burst on the scene during his rookie year and is a fun player to watch. He's a guy that really has an outstanding all-around game. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Warren. And Josh Jackson subbed in for Devin Booker. Second free throw, no good. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Bucket is good, and the Suns lead by two. Boy, it's really tough to wrap Jackson up. I mean, when he's looking to score, he bullies his way through the contact, and he's athletic enough to jump over contact at times, too. Hart kicks the ball. LeBron outside. And they double up LeBron. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And Phoenix has possession. Stolen by ball. Pass to Hart over Ayton. And that misses everything. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. Looked like he forced the shot. Here's Ball after Josh Jackson's bucket. Ball kicks to Kuzma. And again, the Lakers no good. Phoenix leading by four. Oh, Kobo. No good from outside. You know, this just hasn't been his quarter. I mean, he doesn't seem to be comfortable at all, particularly shooting. I mean, he knows he's struggling right now. Crawford outside. And there's the call on DeAndre Ayton. That is his first foul of the game. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And here's Chandler who brings it up for Los Angeles. Trailing by four. Caldwell Pope up top, guarded by Jackson. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. So quick on these drives, as quick as a hiccup. Can't let him, Caldwell Pope, get into the lane like this. Passes it to Holmes. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Okobo connects from three-point range. Eight points for him. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, 
Heck, they've been clearly the better team. And Josh Jackson picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Hart over Crawford. In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing their defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. Yeah, you're right, Greg. Not one second chance bucket for the opposition. They're boxing out on every shot. Here's Hayton. No good on the three. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Jackson drives in. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Phoenix. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. I really think you've got to love the way they protected the rim today. I mean, a good number of blocks in the first half. Crawford with the ball. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. There's a minute 40 left here in the opening quarter. You know what? His finishing ability, not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. They get a bet. Suns leading by four. Okobo, he's covered by ball. Okobo, nice D from Chandler. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. James misses. The Suns shooting just 35% to start the game. Well, LeBron making one of the biggest splashes over the summer, signing with the Lakers, and Greg, it happened pretty fast. And the Lakers front office have been recruiting LeBron hard. LeBron talked with Kobe about his time with the organization and what to expect before making his decision. Kobe's words seem to be a big factor for LeBron. Once again, the Mamba doing everything he can to help the Lakers. Los Angeles making a switch here. Stevenson's checked in. There's 49 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Chandler with the rebound. And I think these are the shots he's got to avoid taking. I mean, already struggling. Uh, he's not helping his team right now looking at those shots. Pass to Ayton. Launches a three. Sinks the three-pointer. Ayton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. I, yeah, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he's on the money. That's no doubt. Ball. Rebound by the Suns. Ayton's got six rebounds now in the game. There's the pass to Jackson. Three seconds left. No good. Shot missing. And so it's the Phoenix Suns bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Back right after this. Kevin Booker talks about the great intangibles of his young teammate, Josh Jackson. Plays super hard. He does everything out there. His instincts are incredible. I've never seen anything like it, just defensively and offensively. He just knows where to be at the right time, gets his hands on a lot of loose balls. A nice swing pairing for sure. Booker providing offense and Greg Jackson known for his defense. And a young team hungry for improvement. Kevin, they're both looking to be a big part of that. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? I mean, an interesting first quarter. The pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnovers. 
just jumped all over them, Greg. I mean, pounced on them, using their length and quickness to come away with those steals. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Suns, Jackson is out there with Trevor Ariza. Then there's Rashawn Holmes. Then it's Crawford. Now here's Ariza. Oh, Kobo. He's covered by ball. Ball size and timing, really an asset when it comes to him blocking shots. And the shot goes down. Eight points for Josh Jackson. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Yeah, those are back crushers. I mean, they really crack your back when you give teams second shots like that. Here's Chandler. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Ingram, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Suns making a change here as well. Bridges, he's checked in for Jamal Crawford. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Stevenson against Ariza. Six to shoot. And Stevenson kicks to Ingram. Rebounded by Jackson. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially, Greg, when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. And so here's Phoenix after Brandon Ingram missing on that last three-pointer. Oh, Kobo, sweet little floater. Ten points for him. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. From deep, James Ariza with the rebound. Ariza's got four rebounds now tonight to the middle. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on LeBron James. And you know, Kevin, when you're guarding Josh Jackson, you've got to know he wants to drive it and get to the foul line. So you've got to be cautious yet aggressive. Two shots. No good on that one. And Josh Jackson, the fourth pick in that 2017 draft out of Kansas. A, a hyper athletic 6 8, and he's got the handles, I think, to become a terrific slasher in the league. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. Good on the second free throw. And Jackson plays with a great motor. He's got some grit in his game. I mean, he's a competitor. I mean, plays with that chip on both shoulders but but give me a, a guy who cares as a coach better to have guys you need to rein in rather than those you, you have to kind of force to be aggressive now booker after brandon ingram missing on that last three-pointer chandler against warren That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Lakers trail by 16. Guys, time they're out, looking for out. a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time Started. taking the lid off. Timeout called the Lakers. In NBA history, only a handful of rookies have averaged 20 points and 10 rebounds. And Clark, you were one of them. Yeah, it's a point of pride for me. Um, obviously wasn't able to be part of a playoff team in the short time I played, but did distinguish myself individually for the short time I played, and that's fairly select company when you talk 2010 guys as rookies, and it's a pretty impressive list to be on. Actually, one of my peers, Terry Cummins, is also part of that first-year 2010 group. You talk about names, Will Chamberlain, uh, Lou Alcindor. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Hakeem, Tim Duncan, Bird Shaq. I mean, what great names. Yeah, some phenomenal names. No doubt about it. Glad to be uh, on that roll call list. 
And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And the Lakers have possession. Caldwell Pope kicks to Stevenson. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Ingram. That one doesn't drop. The Suns go the other way with it. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. T.J. Warren picks one up. Mobile two and shots. tenacious on the drive. Wow. Kuzma. Elbow. Easy to see how he two. gets these calls. The Lakers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Clark, we know of your involvement with college basketball, calling the Final Four. College teams occasionally change conferences here in the NBA. There's talk of eliminating conferences altogether. Yeah, you know what? I'm a bit of a traditionalist here. I'm open to change, but I think there would need to be more rationale behind the change than what I've heard or read. So I think keeping it the way it is is fine. So I, that tradition aspect of it is what I'm hanging my hat on. Anytime you try to manipulate matchups, though, to me, is walking down the wrong road. So in my opinion, we should stay with the conferences for now. I like that thought. And Kuzma slams it in. You got to keep Kuzma in front of you, especially in transition. Once he gets behind you, it's done. Booker finds holes. Back to Booker from outside the arc. Fresh 24 for the Suns. The three from Warren. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Yeah, the defender all over him. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Lakers have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Shooting two. And that one misses. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, his defensive quickness sets him apart. And he's good on the second. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Leading by 12. Kicks it to Warren. Jacks up a three. The Lakers with the rebound. Kuzma's got four rebounds now tonight. Uncovered. Jump shot is good that time. Kuzma's got six here in this quarter. The jump shot for Kuzma, pure. If you let him get it off, he's going to scorch you. Booker with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Warren against Stevenson. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Stevenson. Pass to Kuzma. Ingram wide open. Again, the Lakers. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. Yeah, but they've also protected the paint extremely well. You see that in their block shot totals, but also they've altered a lot of shots. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's foul number two for him. Hart, he's checked in for Lance Stevenson. Aiton, he's checked in for the Suns. 
for three. Booker and it's Ingram with the rebound. And, you know, he's yet to hit another three after nailing one in the first, but I don't think that's going to stop him from shooting. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Caldwell Pope against Booker. Ariza outside. Back to Booker. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Booker's got nine. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. Yeah, you know, continue to pour it on them. That's what they want to do right now. Doing their best to put this game out of reach and in the win column. And the Lakers call time here. And if you look at the numbers for Devin Booker last season, I mean, he upped his assists and rebounding, his scoring and shooting percentages. He has continued to impress with his development. A chance here to take a moment and compare the front court and back court scoring on the night for the Lakers. And despite the deficit, you know, their front line has battled and provided a sizable majority of their offense. They are holding up their end. They just need that back court to step up. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. He had 13 points in the win against Dallas. Ingram against Teresa. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And Greg, if you know anything about Devin Booker, so dedicated to his craft, what's next for him, you think, in taking his game to the next level? No doubt, I think it, it starts at the defensive end. I mean, he's one of the league's best at scoring the basketball, but defensively, I think that's going to be the challenge if he wants to become two truly shots. an elite player. He's off on the first. And really, guys, I can't put a ceiling on Ingram. I mean, with his length and his shooting stroke and work ethic, uh, this is a guy who I think has the potential to be truly great. And he sinks the second. Phoenix leading by nine. Now Jackson. He's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist total show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. Ingram and slam dunk by Ingram. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player. It's called Will Pope. Love seeing that. Booker with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. And Caldwell Pope, the Georgia product, when he's on the floor, it's for his defense. Can give you a handful of points, but what he takes away with defense is far more significant. One of the better perimeter defenders since entering the league. And so he hits the technical free throw. 
And with Caldwell Pope in his defense, he can guard any type of perimeter player. Yeah, I mean, he has the long arms to bother small forwards and fast feet to stay with point guards. Really gives the lineup a lot of options in terms of matchups when he's on the floor. Great instincts on defense and is very hard to shake as he'll hound you on the screen. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got four this quarter. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Here's Hart. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. Just five on the clock. Off target from the wing. And it's Ariza with the ball for the Suns. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Crawford. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And Jamal Crawford closing in on 39 years of age. Clark, he doesn't look like he's aged today. He does not. Baby-faced assassin. This guy is so good and so smooth. And you're right. He's been an ageless wonder. Great maturity. A really good teammate and obviously an outstanding score. I think he'll be playing this way and looking like he looked 10 years from now. Kevin. First one falls for him. Both free throws, good from Crawford. Lakers trail by 12. Ball, the pass to Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. Phenomenal athleticism from Ingram. I mean, really looking to rip that basket up with that strong dunk. Now here's Booker. He's got 11. Long pass to Warren. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Inside, Kuzma. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Kuzma's got it back down to single digits for the Lakers. Phoenix has gone 1-6 from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Booker with no one around from outside off the mark. Not sure why he keeps trying his love from deep here. It's just not his night. And Kuzma slams it in. Boy, I tell you, he's so good at scoring in a lot of different ways. Kuzma enjoys showing off the full repertoire of his game. There's Crawford with the three. Unable to get that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's Hart, guarded by Crawford. Hart kicks the ball. Back to Hart. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Ariza. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Trevor Ariza, a long limb defender, offensively a complimentary score. Uh, you're not going to run your offense through him, but he can space the floor and make big shots when you run offense to him. Free throw good from Trevor Ariza. And Clark, in today's game, you need role players like Ariza, don't you? Yeah, you do. And he's a prototypical 3 and D wing. Brings consistency and maturity to his role, sacrificing stats and individual recognition in service of the team. And he's also a guy who's won a championship. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Tyson Chandler who's checked in for JaVale McGee. And LeBron's subbed in for Brandon Ingram. And, you know, Trevor Ariza continues to have an impact on both ends, guys. An amazing defender. And an excellent shooter, too. 
Such a strong finisher for a floor general. He was up high, and he came down hard. Exquisitely done. <laughs> That's the uncanny ability he had to find a teammate for an easy basket or get one himself. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. And Trevor Ariza, such a steady veteran. I mean, just long, a uh, versatile defender, can also knock down the triple. When you look at how far he's come since he entered the league as really just a raw athlete, it's a credit to his work ethic, no doubt about it. He has mastered his role. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. There's a minute 47 left in the first half. To the inside. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Eaton. Bridges with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Now, here's Ball. Not a lot of room. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down now to just six in the basket from LeBron. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And, Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Crawford outside. Phoenix, no good that time either. For the Phoenix Suns, they come into this one following a loss to Orlando. And it's ball in the corner. That three off the mark. Suns leading by six. At the top of the key, Bridges. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. There's 38 seconds left now here in the second. Hart kicks to Kuzma. Back to Hart. Inside. Got a piece of it. Bridges with the steal. Pulls up. They get it back. Passes it to a reason. Six on the shot clock. Well, I like the fire that a reason plays with Kevin. He's not afraid of sacrificing his body on his way up. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. Just hasn't found his form at the line here in the first half. And he's really looked uncomfortable up there the whole time. Yeah, those were fine numbers he posted um, at the line. It was hard to find fault with anything he did from the strike. And he knocks down the first one. Free throws good from Trevor Ariza. And 
and here is Ball. Two on the clock. It's deflected. Tremendous at anticipating when shots are going up. Aiden is outstanding at protecting the rim. And so it's Phoenix with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stance because of their intense defense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Out in front of the half is Phoenix. They lead by 10. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, what's really shifted the game in their favor has been their rebounding. They got a good edge on the boards, and that's a product of their hard work. All five guys have been battling, putting everything they have to fight on the glass. That needs to remain the focus for two more quarters if they want to hang on to that lead. And over to Kenny, your takeaway on the Lakers. I think they're giving this game away because of their turnovers. I mean, you may not control everything that happens out there, but you do control how much you value each possession. I think coming out of the break, they need to be more efficient to close the gap in the score. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. Without question, Kyle Kuzma displaying his skills today. And I'll tell you, his work on the blocks in that first half, really impressive. Yeah, he squatted on that paint area and owned it, perfectly using his size and that soft touch inside. That's a heck of a combination, strength, size, and soft touch. Nice. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. Suns leading by 10. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Brandon Ingram's out there with Ball, and it's McGee in at the five, roaming the paint. And that's the group for Luke Walton as we begin the second half. Now here's Booker over Ball. No good from Booker. Down low. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Nice D from Warren. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. At one point, they led by 16 for three. And James pulls it down. The Lakers shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. An easy two points on the layup. LeBron's got the first bucket of the third here for Los Angeles. About one minute played here in the second half. Bridges kicks to Warren. Pass to Booker. Beyond the arc. Phoenix no good that time either and out of the gates here in this second half they have not started well 0 of 3 Ingram passes to Kuzma it's blocked here's Bridges rebounded by the Lakers Kuzma's got six rebounds in the game that's a big donut folks here to start the second half four straight they've missed Ingram outside that falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists now in this one. Suns leading by five. Bridges kicks to Warren. Now the pass to Booker. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Warren against Kuzma. Five on the clock. Upping his intensity on the defensive end. Love to see that. Kuzma uses his length and athleticism to challenge and alter shots. Suns have gone 0 5 to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. On the wing, James. Ariza covering. Good D by Ariza. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Looking to get it going. Oh, that's blocked. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. Los Angeles with another miss. 
Phoenix has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Booker finds Warren to the left wing. Pass to Booker. Tries to snap the cold streak. Good on the shot. Booker's got 13 points. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. Here's James. Here's McGee. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Aiton. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. The Lakers have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. Seven for ten. That's good from McGee. Lance Stevenson's checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for ball. And so he's able to get one of two. Phoenix leading by six. To the middle. Here's Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Here is McGee after Mikel Bridges' bucket. Here's James, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And the leadership James brings to this team is incredibly valuable. When things get tight, they look to the king to provide for them. First free throw is good. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for eight. And both free throws, good for James. Suns leading by six. Outside Warren. Ariza outside. Lock at six. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the Suns making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Suns moving the ball around. A nice shot by Booker. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Lakers trail by nine. Here is Stevenson looking for his first basket still in this one. Ingram kicks to Caldwell Pope. Stolen by Warren. Caldwell Pope against Bridges. And Jackson throws it down hard. Yeah, tremendous athleticism by Jackson there. Easily getting off the ground to ram it down. Timeout, timeout called timeout. the Lakers. You gotta like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. I don't think the defense has an answer for him, Kevin. I mean, he's simply going off right now. Knocking down everything.
And let's check out stats for James. Last season, he played outstanding. Last season, 27 points per, nine assists, and eight rebounds. And the numbers, while pretty outstanding, I mean, we've now come to expect that from this guy. Completely in harmony with what his coach is trying to do there. Just a marvelous all-around talent. Good as the jump shot falls. James has got six points in the quarter. Phoenix leading by nine. Booker the pass to Warren. Back to Booker. Now here's Holmes. Guarded by McGee. Holmes kicks to Bridges. Offline with his three. Lakers have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. James, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. James has got 19 points. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Booker finds Warren. <laughs> Fouled in the act of shooting, a three-point play chance coming up. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? In a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Suns. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Yeah, and the other thing they've done since the beginning of this game is score points off Mind turnovers and, and bunches. Tyson Chandler is checked in for JaVale McGee. That free throw good from Warren. Lakers trail by 10. And Stevenson kicks to Chandler. Back to Stevenson. It's Ingram on the wing. Passes to LeBron. Stevenson against Jackson. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. When Lance Stevenson is focused, he's very dangerous, has a ton of talent, good, strong, physical body, athletic, versatile. He does a lot of good things out there. The Lakers have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. Bad free throw missing. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often, that's the case for this team. And the second free throw, good. Suns leading by nine. Kicks to Warren. Down to five on the shot clock. Okobo. And it's blocked by Stevenson. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. The Lakers making a switch here. Hart's checked in. Stevenson outside. That's tipped. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Hart. I don't think they have anybody to blame but themselves there. I mean, that's just inexcusable to let a guy get this deep inside. Caldwell Pope against Warren. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Phoenix. Here's Holmes. He's covered closely. Shot clock at five. Shoots from the line. 
And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Holmes got his first points of the game. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And that's helped them stake this lead. Feeds it to Booker. They double him with Stevenson. And a bit of a battle jump, here for jump, the ball. Jump, jump, the official signals a jump ball here. And it's the Suns with the ball. Here's Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. Oh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Here's Stevenson. A putback. Phoenix grabs the miss. At one point, they led by 16. Okobo. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. He's got 12 indicative of what we've seen tonight one team being the aggressor the other failing to react yeah and you can tell they feel like they can get inside whenever they want to I mean it's been carte blanche full menu for them and the defense really not offering any resistance such a wide open look that's now 22 points for LeBron and he's clearly led the way offensively the question is can they ride him and get back into it and first time out of the game called for Phoenix yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they've been a bit unlucky. Some of it is poor shot selection in a slump, no doubt. Um, but it can be turned around. They just need to find ways to score the ball. And a look now at the various locations of the shots taken so far for Kuzma. And everything he's touched has turned to gold. If you are on defense, you have to make sure all five players know exactly where he is at all times. Because if he gets a sliver of a look, he'll get it done. Got a piece of it. The feet to Warren. No good that time. James with some nice D. Caldwell Pope right side. He kicks to Stevenson. And Hart has it in the corner. From past the arc. With the second effort. James, no good. Suns leading by 10. Crawford outside. Okobo. A three-pointer is right on target. 15 points in the game. Hey, I tell you what, the contest on that shot was lacking. Very subpar, which is why the shooter buried it. Lobbed up there for Chandler. An emphatic LU jam. You know, the athletic game of Chandler helps tremendously. He's awesome at flying up to complete alley-oops. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Now, here's Holmes. He dishes it to Crawford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Chandler. Lonzo Ball is checked in for the Lakers. And Phoenix also making a switch. Aiton's checked in. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, and those illegal screens have, have really become a point of emphasis for the officials. And it seems like they've been more than willing to crack down on those. Makes it tough to get as physical as you'd like to out there. 
And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. James looking around. Pass to Chandler. Here's Hart. Kicks it the ball. Shot clock at six. Launches it. A three-pointer is right on target. Bulls got it back down to within single digits for the Lakers. Okobo. He's covered by ball. And there's the pass to Ayton. Okobo. And the Suns miss again. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. You're exactly right. Patrolling the perimeter well. And didn't allow the shooter to get off a clean look. That's what you would call A-plus defense. LeBron passes to Chandler. Shoots. Hart, no good. And, you know, Kevin, his team is struggling a bit right now. I mean, I hope he can find his rhythm and start making his shots out there soon. Otherwise... Dot, dot, dot. How about the determination? Now that's what we call competing for a rebound. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And let's take a moment to look at some stats for Devin Booker. Good season for him last year. He averaged 25 points per, four assists and four rebounds. And he was their top scorer throughout last season. Well, his teammates knew whenever they really needed a basket, just look his way. No good on the free throw. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Devin Booker. No luck that time either. Suns leading by eight. Ariza outside. 56 seconds left to play in the third. Outside Warren. Takes a three. They grab their own miss. And Aiton throws it down. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss, one of Aiden's specialties. Poke loose. Ball kicks to LeBron. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. And so Crawford will bring it up for Phoenix. At one point, they led by 16. With the teardrop, Chandler with the rebound. Chandler's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one is on a reason. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. First free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 15 seconds left here in the third quarter. And this is where you milk the clock. Yeah, that's the intelligent play here, Greg. No doubt. No reason to chuck up some garbage shot. Here's Warren. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. And so it's the Phoenix Suns with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. And we'll be back with you shortly.
Let's listen now to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his team. Hey, don't get me. Keep playing. We did a good look. We're going to start making some of them. It's more important that we get ready. That's playing the right way. We chip it away. Plenty of game. Well, it sounds like he's happy with their shot selection. Just need more of them to fall. Yeah, the shots have been there, and I love how Coach Walton stayed positive with his guys. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. On the court now for the Suns, getting going here in the fourth. They've got Trevor Ariza. Aiton is out there with Warren, and it's Crawford, and it's the Suns with the ball. Following the basket by LeBron James. Aiton, the pass to Warren, and the layup's good off the glass. And the Suns lead by six. Oh, that's a terrific pass. Aiton, with the advanced skill level, he's just going to get better with time. Now here's LeBron. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. JaVale McGee's checked in for Tyson Chandler. Bridges is checked in for the Suns. Suns leading by six. Okobo, he's covered by ball. Pass to Bridges. Outside Warren. He kicks it to Bridges. Stolen by ball. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. They get the rebound. The Lakers making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. And here is Los Angeles now. Passes it to Kuzma. Here's the three. Scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range, Greg. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for him. Hands it from downtown. Eight points for Ariza. Okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Yeah, and I like it. I love seeing that. It's a lot of fun when that happens. These teams are going at each other from the outside. Now here's James. He feeds it to McGee. It's blocked, but he stays with it. Kuzma kicks to LeBron. Just four to shoot. Second shot opportunity, and he lays it up and in. LeBron's got four this quarter. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. And the call is going to be, yes, yes, it is, an illegal screen. With the turnover total in the first half, only one, but a totally different story here in the second. Lakers trail by four. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. In the corner, it's Ingram. And McGee kicks to James. That's tipped. And the reason works his butt off on defense. I mean, whether he's down low or on the perimeter, he knows how to block shots. And Ariza with the stuff. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Now, here's Ball. To the inside. And it's McGee with the jam. And, you know, Ingram isn't just a sensational score. He also passes the ball pretty well. Okobo. He's covered by Ball. Okobo. It's deflected. And he gets it back. Bridges against Ingram. Snatched up. Warren on the wing. Tries it again. With the clock winding down, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Lakers trail by four. Good, 
Pass to LeBron over a reason. No good off the front iron. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. I agree with you. Not a good shot. Not good offense. They can get a much better look than that. But they're going to need to be patient to do so. And that one, good. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And they double up James. Here's Kuzma. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Kuzma's got 21. All Kuzma needs is a little separation, and he's good to go. Very agile and operating in the pick and roll. And Phoenix turns it over again. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Now, here's ball. Kicks to Ingram. McGee in the corner. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Five on the clock. Here's LeBron. Lays it up off the glass. And now, just a two-point Suns lead. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Inside, Kuzma kicks the ball. To tie it up. Phoenix grabs the miss. Ayton's got his 16th rebound on the night. And the pass to Bridges. Shoots over Ingram, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. He continues to struggle from the field. But luckily for him and his team, his teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. Now, here's Bridges. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. And the Suns making a change here. Booker's checked in. Warren against Kuzma. Stolen by Ball. Pass to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. Hey, you got to give Ball credit, Kevin. I mean, he's very good at using his length to poke balls away. Phoenix calls timeout. And not surprising. Obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Can't blame him. I mean, the effort hasn't been there. Just has not been there. Hopefully, he can get the fire lit. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, DeAndre Ayton. And he's put on a terrific show of skill in the paint. A combination of moves, footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And guys, over that last break, I listened to Igor Kokoskov address the team. He knows his team is struggling tonight from the three-point line, so he told them to go for more quality shots inside. We're shooting way too many threes, he said. No more Hail Marys. Let's get inside to the post. Back to you guys. And here's Booker after Brandon Ingram getting his shot to go from deep. Shoots over ball. Misses off the left iron. 
That's what they want. A good look from the mid-range game. Hey, but unfortunately, they came up empty. I'll tell you, he's beating up the defense in this quarter, going right at him and scoring in a variety of ways. Now, here's Bridges. Now, Aiton. Here's Booker. And he banks in the layup. Boy, Trevor Ariza doing a nice job bodying up on the defender with that pick. Lakers leading by three. LeBron outside. LeBron is doubled. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So it's the Lakers now. Kuzma passes the ball to the middle. Ingram. No good that time. The Suns go the other way with it. Bridges against Ingram. Bridges kicks to Warren. To the paint. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut to just one on the basket from Booker. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. Kuzma. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Bridges passes to Booker. Now Aiton. He's covered by ball. Bridges misses. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. James kicks to ball. Back to James. Ingram outside. Three-pointer. LeBron shot is off. Suns trail by three to the right side. Here's Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Now, here's Ariza after LeBron James's miss. To take the lead and the rejection by James. And the shot by Warren, no good. He's not exactly striping them from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bageled in the second. Ariza against LeBron. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. The mid-range that you've seen from them about as good as it gets. And there has not been a drop-off in the second half. Well, you've also got to love how aggressively they've taken that ball to the basket and scored off dribble penetration. No good on the free throw. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunities. And he sinks the second. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs them. Right wing. Now, here's Aiton. Guarded by McGee. And the shot by Warren, no good. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Now, here's LeBron. Stolen by Warren. He kicks it to Booker. Outside Warren. Pass to Aiton. Shot clock at six. Here's Warren. And that one hits back iron. And out of rhythm offensively, but he continues to work at it. Yeah, you know what? I think eventually he will find his rhythm because he is off right now, but all it takes is one hoop 
And you're back in rhythm. Now here's Ingram after T.J. Warren's miss. LeBron kicks to Ingram. That's the free fly. The Lakers rebound. Back to LeBron. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. Phoenix has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. The drive by Booker. Poke loose. James outside. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. Yeah, I like how James takes it to the defense. Even if they're all over him, he just muscles it past them. A few more trips like that, and we might be able to see this one in the books. 112 left in the fourth quarter. The drive by Booker. Ingram comes with the double team. Bridges, no one around him. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. And 11 points for Mikael Bridges. Los Angeles has gotten off four three pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Stolen by Booker. Fast break. Here come the Suns to tie it up. They grab their own miss. Now, that is cold-blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing them deliver when they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. The clutch free throw. He's got ice water in his veins, fellas. No way he's going to miss from the line when the game's still hanging in the balance. I've seen him make too many in this situation. And the Lakers call time here. They trail by one. 46 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. LeBron kicks to Kuzma. Lakers working the ball around now. And I tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James's game. And he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. Phoenix calls timeout. They're behind by one. There's 39 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? And usually you want to go for the two for one here to maximize the clock.
There's 39 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And Booker kicks to Bridges. With the teardrop, it's good! Unbelievable basket. I mean, giving up a lot of height there, but he was not to be denied. Not when the game's hanging in the balance. That makes it a little different. He was going to get to the rim no matter who was standing in the way on that one. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by one. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. James against Ariza. Back to ball. Bridges with the steal. Ball, the pass to Kuzma. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two seconds. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. For three, Ingram can't get the three to fall. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion. And so both free throws are good and it's a five point game. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. So the Suns win it. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Jamal, how did you guys get this win tonight? We have good players. We have a good coach. I mean, he put us in good positions to succeed. Our players play for each other. We don't care about who scores. We're a real team. Yeah, there was a lot of flow out there tonight. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.